here. I got you some oh. coffee. Yeah, thanks. Ooh. Ah. Your screensaver is your ex-girlfriend? The one who dumped you? Sad. Is this dairy? Yeah. Well, didn't they have organic soy light free? Yeah. So why didn't... Uh... Because I decided you should be a man and drink some moo cow milk. Well, with all the hormones. Ah, and the... That, but the... Ah, and the... the... Thank you. Mmm, so good. <laughs> I'm not chanting. Find your peace in this space. Your universe becomes this mat. Well, I'd like a different universe. Does this come in black? Um, not there, not there, not there. Damn it! Uh, my chakra of consciousness is now clear. Oh, I hate being behind, man ass. Scoot over. Thank you for bringing me the coffee. You're welcome. Did you know that No, I... no, no did you know. But she might like to know. Do you remember the last time you went on a date and you accused her of trying to kill you because she ordered you a cinnamon latte? Yes. Did you have a second date? No. Did you want one? No, she was trying to kill me. You see, you overlook things like this. I've run out of people for you, Stan. And there's a chance, just a chance, that the world has run out of people for you. So how are you gonna be? How? Good. Nice. Nice. Now breathe and relax into the pose. I'm good here, thanks. Maybe you shouldn't do this date. And this would be how many more dates you've had in the past six months combined? One. Okay, so what's this guy like anyway? Andy wouldn't say. Why? He said it was better that way. Huh. huh. Now for you more advanced students, slowly begin to take the legs up to the next level. Don't push yourself too hard, Kayla. you about Stan. He can be a little depressing. He's been going through a real rough time. What happened? Um, he's not really over an old girlfriend and he's had a few recent really bad dating experiences. But he's a really good guy. Damaged goods? You brought me damaged goods? No. I brought Kayla. I like Kayla. I do too, I I don't like Stan. Look, I told him to be good. You told him to be fake? So that he could score with my friend? No, that's not really a good way to put it. Accurate? Hey, look! You let him be himself. I want Kayla to see if he's a good guy or not. He's just concerned about the world around him. Uh-huh. There's a shortage of good guys. 
Yeah, there is. It's near critical. What's that supposed to mean? Hey, guys. Hey, how's it going? Good. Cute jacket. Thanks. So, where's this stand guy? Uh, he'll be here. So, uh, what does he do? Mm. Yeah. He's a, a writer. A writer. Oh, hey, that's interesting. Writer. So what does he write? Yeah. Theater? Zombies? Uh, he's a playwright. Playwright? Yeah. Playwright? Well, what's wrong with that? Uh, he writes comedy, uh, humor, in a dark sort of way. Interesting. Mm -hmm. That's interesting, what you think? Don't eat the pretzels. Why? Because there's usually traces of other people's snot and saliva on them. And you're touching me? Uh, this is my uh, good friend Stan. Uh, Stan, why don't you take a seat? And uh, this is my girlfriend Sabrina, and her uh, very, very good friend uh, Kayla. Hi. Great place, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I just realized I'm going to die. Really? When? Someday. Oh. I'll take that drink. Thank you. Don't you realize you're going to die? The minute you're born, you start to die. And I was thinking about Descartes the other day, and I realized he was dead too. Everyone you've ever met, ever seen, ever heard of is going to die. And you'll see them die. Or they'll see you die. Uh, unless, of course, you die at the same time. <laughs> is this some form of good I'm not aware of? Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> My heart's serene. What is it but a dream? The blossoming, as well, lasts only seven cycles. Japanese death poems. Every pet, every animal you'll see die. Uh, except tortoises and elephants, they live a long time. Uh, so Kayla here works for ABC. Did you That's know right. that 90% of dust is human skin? You know I heard that. Do you know who this is? This guy's really bumming me out now. When you flush, tiny pieces of feces particles fly through the air and land on toothbrushes. So when you brush your teeth, it's with feces. Th then you wash your face. Feces-covered soap. Kayla! How many particles hit the toothbrush? Particles. But I mean, how big? It's not like there's a turn on your toothbrush, Kayla. Excuse me, we have to go to the ladies' room. No, don't take the mints afterwards. What? There's usually urine on them. Gross! <laughs> Come on, Kayla. What are you doing? What? You're killing me. What? You're talking about feces and death? <laughs> She's the one who brought the Zen Master Death Book. Yeah, it's kind of creepy, don't you think? But think about it this way. Morticia there brought a book on a date with you to a nightclub and she's reading it to me. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's not good. You have to change the subject. Ask her what she likes. I mean, ask her if she likes any puppies. Yeah, dogs. Do you like puppies? Yeah, or, or maybe she. Ask her what kind of dogs. Or, or maybe she's a cat person. Maybe she likes kittens. You know, do you? <sighs> do you like kittens? Oh, man, kittens die. A litter of ten too might make it. You're doing it now. You're doing it to me. What? You, you gotta just change the subject. You lighten it up. Lighten it up. I always do this. 